Happy Wednesday morning, folks. Welcome back. It's another day. We're stringing together a nice little win streak here, at least in the stock market. U.S. indices up again in the pre-market. Seeing a lot of green on the screen. Dow Jones is up. S&P is up 1%. We've got the NASDAQ futures up right now, just over 1.5%. So seeing some big moves particularly in those technology stocks that have been beaten down recently. So uh, we're heading into our fourth straight day of gain. So good looking sign here. But that being said, we're still in the midst of earnings season. We've still got some fears out there with COVID variants. We've also got um, discussion around uh, interest rates, which could certainly shake these markets up. So there's a lot going on that are some potential risk events. Uh, but nonetheless, a lot of volatility, a lot to trade right now. Jump over to some of the other markets. Look at FX. With this risk on move that we're seeing in the stock market, it makes sense that we're starting to see uh, that dollar get hit. And it's getting hit in a big way. You look at the euro dollar, you look at the pound dollar, both of which this morning, another half percent move. Look at that euro dollar. We've now got a one spot 13 handle on it. So just been a big move over the past couple of days as we see that dollar weaken and see strength in these foreign currencies. Oil, also a big mover this morning, up above $89 a barrel, continues to trade higher, just inches way north towards that $90 mark up above $89, uh, that's over a 1% move this morning. So again, more volatility in the energy markets. All right, folks, like I said, big week, more earnings today. We've got private sector payroll data, the ADP report due out today, big number, that's before the open. And then the big number, the biggest number of the week is that jobs report coming out on Friday, December payrolls report. All right, folks, let's go get some trades and price action. I'll see you again tomorrow.